Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just taking it one video at a time. If this isn't your first time here, then uh, how did my hair get so long and blonde? Well, we'll find out at the end of the video. So today's look, we are going so glam, having a nice halo look using the new NYX eyeshadow and highlighting products. And uh, I put lip gloss on. Uh, is it on my teeth yet? First time for everything. Take along with me and three, two, one. Hashtag fresh face. Before we get started on this look, I just want to let you know that my throat hurts just a little bit, so if I'm ever like, ugh, dying, that's why. Today we're going to be starting with the MAC Painterly Pod. I got this last year during Black Friday, and then I lost it behind my dresser. This is my first time ever using this, and this is really nice. Now I know why everyone talks about it. Not sure if you're supposed to put powder on after that. I don't think so. Okay. So like most of my videos, I'm going to be putting this look together as I go. I don't really think about it. I feel like that's the hotness life. You just, you, you, you take life by the sleeves and you ride the sleeves. I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Paradise Fluff eyeshadows today. And it has a super cute container. This, honestly, NYX is one of my favorite drugstore brand, if not my favorite. This palette, it comes with a lot of purples. This is, it is the purple palette. So maybe, oh, maybe I can challenge myself to use all of the colors in this palette. Okay, challenge accepted. In the crease of my eye, I'm gonna start off with this mauve brush that is more fluffy, um, but actually not this one. This one is too condensed. So starting off with a brush that is more fluffy, fluffy, fluffy like. Uh, side note: I don't know if you can see, I'm using my soft glam palette as my mirror today. Um, this is definitely for me the best palette of the year. I use this honestly for most of my looks, like outside of just filming. I don't know why I haven't filmed with it yet. Filming is hard. I just start on the outside. And you know, always use your circular motions to create a blended look. And then you can build upon from there. I like this, the pigment is very nice. Okay guys, I think I figured it out. I think I'm gonna try to do like a halo type look. I'm trying to, you know, working on my, my halo. I'm going to use the, honestly these purples look very similar. So I think I'm gonna swatch them on my arm. Okay, wow, okay, one is definitely darker than the other. I swatched the palette for you, so there are lots of purples. Um, sorry if you see my uh, indentations on my arm, it's just from my ponytail holders. There are three shimmer colors, and then there are three matte colors in this palette. So let's work on my halo. So now that I see the difference between which one is the matte purple and which one is the shimmer color, I'm going to use the top right purple color to go around as my base. So what I did is I stamp it on first and then I go in and do circular motions. So when you go for the middle, part of your halo, I usually make it lighter there. Then we're gonna use the sparkly purple color on the bottom left. And this is gonna go on the outside. And this just deepens the drama of the eye look. And you can go up way high. Get some Ursula vibes up in here. This gives it kind of like a shimmery, more dramatic look. Then I'm gonna use this middle gold color. So when you look at it on the palette, it looks gold, but when you put it on your eye, it's more like iridescent and like really pretty like that. I'm just gonna go back in with the dark purple matte color on the sides. And I just do a 
back and forth a couple times because you have bad judgment in more areas than one. You know, and it takes everyone different times to figure out the, the shape of their eye. And I've never been one to be able to find the center very easily. So with every video, I'm trying more and more to find like different points in my eye. I think that's a success. I'm calling this a success. Now we're gonna go in with what I think, even though it's purple, kind of reminds me of, reminds me of like Brandy and Cinderella. And we're gonna put this as the highlight. Also, like this video if you've seen the Brandy version of Cinderella. Also gonna put this in the corner of my eye. Might have to go over that again later when doing uh, foundation and stuff. I have one color left in this palette and that is the dark brown color. I'm gonna use that to smoke my eye out, but before I do that, I need to put foundation on. So I'm gonna do the other half of my face and then we'll come back, do foundation, and then smoke this eye out. Okay guys, uh, I did the other side of my face and I know I said I was gonna put foundation on, but I figured that I would step up my look just a little bit more and I got more of these <laughs> Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Uh, this is in, obviously, my title of Queen. I'm just gonna add that to the middle part of the halo. Okay, then I'm just gonna use my finger and just kinda press the sides in to blend it a little bit. You can also use your brush and just kind of dab, dab, dab. So if you want to just keep it regular and, you know, a nice uh, iridescent shimmer, you can stay here with the NYX powder. Or if you want to just step it up a little bit in your color and in your sparkle, then you can add the Stila Glitter and Glow. With the palette, it also comes with a liquid eyeliner. This is perfect for if you want that thin eyeliner look. Um, it also helps for if you just want to build up the eyeliner and hopefully you don't build it up to your eyebrow. I think I'm just going to do a small wing today. Like this, just this little, little baby wing. I know, who am I? Okay, this eye is a little bit thicker, but it's okay to be a little thick. It's okay. Um, and we're just gonna put some eyelashes over it and hopefully that will help some. And we're back! I put some foundation on and I actually blended my face this time, so hopefully it looks as blended to me as it does to you. Also, I put some foundation on my lips because I definitely had some leftover lipstick from last night, so I put some foundation, hopefully that covers it and we'll have lipstick over it anyway, so it'll be fine. Also, I never have tips and so I'm like, ASMR. I am so useless with these nails. Like more so than usual, I can't do anything. Like things fall on the floor and I'm like, all right, trying to pick up this penny. Okay, it's not happening. Yeah, so these are literally for fashion and honestly like 40 to 60% of the rhinestones on it has, have fallen off and I'm just too rough with my hands. But they were pretty when I first got them done. I'm just saying. Let's get back to putting, smoking this eye look out. So the last color I'm gonna use is this chocolate brown color. Put it on the lower lid. All the way across. So I used this side, I don't know if you can see, it's more precise. Then I'm gonna put the fluffy side and kinda like, we'll say we're gonna blend. That sounds right. And then, actually gonna go back in with the matte purple color on the inside. Someone is leaf blowing, I think, down the street. First we got rid of all the cat noises. Now we're trying to get rid of these leaf blowers. It's just, it's a hard life over here. The eyes are finished. They have all the things that need to be eyed upon. Now we're gonna move on to our highlight and to go along with the NYX Paradise Fluff. I also got the Sugar Trip Squad and it's the highlighting palette. And what's cool about this design, it's all different types of people. Like they, and they have different genders, uh, male and female. So I think that's really super awesome and good job NYX. Okay, so these are the six 
highlighters, um, some pinks, purples, golds, uh, orange, and bronze colors. Here they are reflecting in the light. So I'm going to use this first color, which looks white, but as you can see in the swatching, is has kind of a pink tone to it. I think I just want a little bit more drama, so I'm gonna put some NYX setting spray on my fan brush um, to just make it a little bit more intense. Gotta open your mouth. Otherwise, are you even putting your makeup on? Oh my gosh, this highlight is so good! This is like intergalactic, like, it is, we're out of this world right now. It's time for lips, and I'm using one of my favorite, if not my favorite brand, uh, which is Gerard Cosmetics. It's called the Hydra Matte Lipstick. This is a matting lipstick, so they also have like regular lip glosses and regular creamy lipsticks. And this color is a bright pink. And then, something that I hate is lip gloss. But we're gonna put some on today for you viewers at home because some of you guys like lip gloss. I don't know why, but it's for you. I'm using the Mag Vamplify in What's Going On. And I don't think that they sell these anymore. Sorry. And then the last thing to do is to spray my face with the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray. And I love how this is the green tea. This is not the cap to this. It was almost so smooth. This is the final look. We're gonna do our outro in just a moment. Guys, I have a cool new wig. I actually have three cool new wigs that I'm going to be unboxing for you in my next video so make sure that you subscribe if you like the wig then make sure that you put, click the thumbs up if you like this video make sure that you click the thumbs up button and like it yourself you can also share it to a friend and comment down below uh, how you feel about this look would you wear this to your new year's eve party or maybe just a night out on the town and my Hot Mess Express tip of the day is to have fun. Whether that's doing your makeup or walking down the street, try to have fun. Maybe do a little skip, a cartwheel, or wear a wig. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video and hopefully I will not have lip gloss all over me in it. <laughs> all right, bye guys.